Hello Capricorn, welcome to your October of 2023 reading. Let's get some shuffles here and see what's going on with my Capricorns. How have my Capricorns been doing? Some, <laughs> some of you may have recently gone on a trip and found out that a Pisces that you know is the gassiest person you've ever met. That may apply to some of you, some of you not. <laughs> Let's get some shuffles in. Because <laughs> that wasn't very specific at all. <laughs> If you are dealing with a gassy Pisces, <laughs> this could be your reading. And if you're easily offended by farts, I'm definitely not the reader for you. You came to the wrong channel. I don't always talk about farts, but it does come up in readings and I do giggle. <laughs> Sometimes I prefer to act my shoe size instead of my age. Okay, fine, all the time. <laughs> so we've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, so it actually may be, um, you might be dealing with a female or somebody with a feminine energy that could be a fire sign that may be toxic in your life. That would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That could be uh, significant in their chart that doesn't have to be a woman. Um, it just, you know, there's masculine and feminine energy, and it's not specific to a gender. So you could be dealing with somebody with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius placements that you're not too happy with at the moment. We've got the Page of Swords. They could also have air placements. This also could be talking about new beginnings with communication. We've got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Interesting with uh, the Sixes here. This person could be could have a June birthday, or June could be a significant month for some reason. Um, you could be dealing with somebody where there's conflict due to them not being able to let go of the past. And giving off the vibe towards you, like the you owe me mentality. Like they're trying to make you feel bad about something from the past. And this was in the distant past that this was going on. So maybe this already passed through and this situation is done. Like I feel like they were trying to hold things over your head or trying to guilt you in some way. What the hell is going on? So we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this is talking about uh, because of their behavior, things aren't able to move forward um, with emotional new beginnings. It could be talking about them being emotionally immature. Well, obviously, if they're trying to manipulate you that way. And in the near future, though, we've got the Page of Pentacles in the upright. I feel like this has been coming out in a lot of people's readings. So this talks about new beginnings as far as your career goes and possibly your health. And the Justice card. So if you've been being treated unfairly or you were treated unfairly, don't worry about it. This person's going to get their karma. And I honestly don't think you care whether they get their karma or not. Um, you know, I feel like you're finally going to get back everything that you put out there. Like, you were being an honest, fair, and just person. You were doing the right thing, yet for some reason you were getting the short end of the stick in this situation. And it's saying that the good things are coming to you. 
you know, the universe recognizes that you've been doing the right thing and being a good person and being compassionate. And we've got the Six of Swords in the upright, so I think that the way that you solved this problem, Capricorn, is you removed yourself from this situation, and these people or this person saw that, and they know that you're not putting up with their crap. Um, the Six of Swords talks about a journey. It talks about moving on. It talks about forward movement. You could also be thinking about a move. Um... Maybe something's been unfair with your living situation somehow. Maybe your landlord is a douchebag. I don't really know. Um, but this talks about forward movement, and that's the way that you're solving this problem, is by simply moving away from it, because it's just not worth the energy anymore to try to fight this or, you know, try to talk any logic into this dipshit. And what action is this person going to take towards my Capricorns, if any? The death card in the reverse. They're going to be resistant to this change. They're trying to guilt you into staying where you are or trying to convince you that it's a bad idea to move on to the next best thing. And we've got the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is verification that this person is going to continue to be deceptive. The Seven of Swords is like the lying little fuckbag card. So if you thought that this person was being emotionally immature, deceptive, toxic, you were right, Capricorn, and you did the right thing. And for the outcome, what else can we get for Capricorn here? So we've got the Ten of Swords... And then we've got the Emperor. So it's basically saying that you had to hit rock bottom to come into your power. And if you're not in your power right now, you're on your way to it. So you had to go through a lot of shit, Capricorn, before you got the rainbow at the end of your storm. I don't know if this is making any sense for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it makes zero sense whatsoever, well then it's not your reading. Take a look at your sun, moon, rising, or Venus and see if some one of those makes any sense. Sometimes the readings are on point, sometimes they make zero sense. I just take what comes to me. Um, all right, Capricorn, well, I hope you have a great rest of your month, a uh, great month of October of 2023, and thank you so much for watching.